Great up me, Salo is back and it's the second attempt and it'll be bigger and better. See if Aisha comes in a sarong or not on this lovely show. Okay, kita, kita pakai uh, no, no, almost, almost baju kebangsaan ni dengan sarung-sarung. Reminds of uh, the, the, the old days when, when you know, guys have to go for so much everything, so it's like almost... Yeah, they don't do that nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure you're wondering why we're wearing um, the kain sarung, especially if you just tuned in. Why? Yes. Because we're going to be talking about kain sarung. Yeah. Which is not, not the first time it's happening. Yes. Yes, anyway, joining us here on the show, we've got two volunteers with random alphabets. How's it going? How, good, welcome back to the show, Zay. Anyway, we've got Zay and HD and Suzy Zahari to talk, to talk to us about Kitapi Sarong. Yeah. So, yes, we know it's on here, it's on the second time already, mm -hmm. second year, but to some people it may still be a very new concept, so maybe you could tell us a little bit about it and why Sarong? Okay, well, Sarong is a universal thing. Mm -hmm. The arts group that is organizing these random alphabets. The premise of the group was to bring people together, mm. um, regardless of whatever. People, people are thinking about race, but you're talking about age, citizenship, whether you're a migrant, you're a refugee, whether you're a student, you're an adult. Well, students are adults, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, so Kretabi Sarong is whereby a lot of people get together and then we're going to go on the Kretabi, mm. the trains, depending mm. on what trains you'll find out that day, mm. and then we move them together. So. In the States, they had this thing called no pants are wear, yes. where they wear everything but pants. Mm -hmm. But at the Salon, you wear everything and a sarong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So, do most people wear the sarong the entire day or they just put it on for that short period of time? Well, it's up to them. They can wear it today, every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but basically, yeah, you wear I'm sure people are wondering what, um, what's the, you know, I mean, if there is there a certain message, cause, what are you actually rooting for? Okay, well, I think we all, for some of us, obviously, we are fans of Sarong. Mm -hmm. But I think, to put it simply, Sarong and Kritapi, is, or trains, as, as, as the urban side will look at it, is just a tool to bring people together. Mm -hmm. So from the outside, like I said earlier, Random Alphabet is about bringing people together in the simplest of ways and mm -hmm. through action and through words. So mm -hmm. we're not going to be out there and say, hey, come together because it's good for you. No, mm -hmm. come together because it's fun and use Sarong because it's a simple tool. So yeah. yes, they're just unity tools. So it's just actually to yeah. bring people together, yeah. Yeah. and you know you don't have to be, uh, you know, you know, chanting slogans or saying well, something. Almost always free about it. Yes, yeah, so no, it's, it's just easy. How, how it's all just about. How's yeah. the, the response yeah. been, uh, yeah. Susie, in terms of the second year? It's 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 been good. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot of people um, talking about it on Facebook right. and on Twitter. So the buzz is going. Yeah. So we're hoping that there'll be a lot of people on that day on Saturday. Now, in terms of uh, uh, sarongs and all kind, like uh, as we said, uh, uh, ha have you seen some really quirky uh, old types that you haven't seen for a long time? We don't get to see sarongs around much nowadays, anyway. Mm -hmm. But on that day, uh, what kind of stuff will you be looking at? I mean, how comparison yeah. with stories and history all about? Yeah, well, we're, we're looking at people being as creative as they can mm -hmm. um, with the sarong, coming in as stormtroopers or Jedis <laughs> or, you know, draping it around themselves, coming in as ninjas and, and just be be random about it. Right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. Right, so how, how do people find out about it? You know, is it very covert and you, you only find out half an hour or yeah. three or four at midnight, that kind of thing? Good you brought it up because for all of the events that we've done so far, mm -hmm. We only reveal the gathering point about 40 to 72 hours beforehand. And even the, what we reveal is gathering point. Right. So what you're going to find out online on the website randomalphabets.com is where we're going to meet. When you meet us there, we'll group everyone up and then we'll, we'll, take, you you, else, eh? we'll take you somewhere else in this ah. case. So because we're going to the train, it's going to be somewhere quite a distance. Exactly, yes. Sometimes you just go to like a kilometer away, but this I, time... I have to pay for the train ticket? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> check in because you know there'll be people out there. Now we've got a poster uh, here for those of you who are very interested in 
in uh, joining the Great Tapi Sarum Party. We have that will be happening at 3 p.m. And Yoda is there too. This is the Kuala Lumpur. You see, so you have to find out from them. Uh, we'll be on Facebook. Yes, Facebook. Randomalphabets.com. You just go from there. Yeah. Or Facebook.com slash Randomalphabets. Uh, now it's actually like inviting cities around, around the world. The world. Um, last year, did you have a lot of? Uh, you know, foreigners said, you know, this sounds like a cool thing to mm -hmm. immerse myself into the Malaysian culture. Do you find a lot of um, tourists join? Uh, there were some tourists that joined, but I think we saw quite a number of foreign students coming. Uh -huh. Ah, interesting. Yeah, when we first started, we saw a lot of college kids coming. And then after that, we saw primary school kids and secondary school kids coming. So Kata mm -hmm. was like a level up where we saw foreign students joining in. So hopefully this year, maybe we'll see some migrant workers who mm -hmm. resonate a lot with the sarongs. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll see some expats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's hope. Some people from over the sea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some as well. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, so when... Um, so, 72 hours, 48, 72 yeah, hours. Yeah, we actually revealed it yesterday. Yes, you revealed yeah, it yesterday. So yesterday. when's it going uh, to be exactly? Where is it going to be? Okay, well, since it's out, we can mention yeah, it now. Okay. Um, it's at Pudu Station and Titi Wangsa, LRT, ah, okay. on the Ampang Line. Okay. So, yeah, you could go to Ampang Line, yeah. wait for us under the station. And well, not like, you know, on the ground, but, yeah. you know, not, yeah. not on the platform. Yeah, okay, yeah, not yeah. on the platform, yeah. but, anyway, but you know, I think just follow the group of people wearing sarong. So anything, yes. you know, kind of uh, so kid, kind of bakery. Come in doti. Come in doti, yeah. exactly. A sari, that's a sarong to serve anything. And uh, if you're wondering what's underneath here, I'm wearing my jeans. This one is the Scottish thing. <laughs> what's underneath here? Sarong, man. <laughs> oh, oh there jeans. you go. Wear kilt. That's a sarong from you know, a very long, long way away. Anyway, um, unfortunately we've run out of time, but once again, um, Titi Wangsa and, and Pudu and Pang Lai. Yes. What time? Not on the 3 p.m. Uh, yeah. The best part is that you can come, yeah, there's no registration fee yeah. and there's no registration process. Yeah. But the biggest challenge for me is to come on time. Yes. So come on time. So yes. Yes. Come, come on time, time on Saturday, yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not 3.30. Yeah. Time, time meaning, yeah. you know, don't be late. Mm. Yeah. Not better late than never. Be on time. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Randomalphabets.com is the website to go yes, to yes. any more information. Thank you very much, Susie, Thank you. Nice. Thank you. for being on the show.